Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Kevin Durant, the all-time leading scorer in the history of the U.S. men's team. Yeah, that's a great perspective, Allie. Thank you. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Brooklyn, they've got Royce O'Neal. Ben Simmons is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Nicholas Claxton, and it's Durant in at the three. And the front office for Brooklyn has said they need selfless players who want to be there and are available. Well, B.A., the message is pretty clear. After Kyrie Irving missed most of last year due to personal choices, the Nets want go. all hands on deck this go around. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Outside Irving. Outside Simmons. Get him out, get him out. Now here's Irving. Defense is right there. Five on the clock. Durant, the pass to Irving. From deep, here's Simmons. That one is off. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's the floater. And he gets that one. And I love it. Challenging the bigger defender and showing plenty of heart. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Here's Durant. Comes up empty down low. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Guarded by Durant. Rebounded by the Nets. On the wing, Irving. It's tipped. Here's Claxton. Soft touch off the glass. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Tipped. Outside Irving. Pass to O'Neal. And here's Durant. Thirteen feet out. That shot off the mark. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Here's O'Neal outside Irving. Pass to O'Neal. Durant with it. And they'll get another chance to the left wing. Here's Simmons. Here's Claxton. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. <laughs> Crashes the glass with authority, then puts it back strong. Next level, man. This guy's just going out and making a play. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. And rejected. And they're able to recover. Simmons defending. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his first foul of the game. Hook loose. Shot clock at five. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Down low. Up and in on the layup. 
you can tell Simmons is a guy who, from the moment he picked up a basketball, has been a point guard by nature. So 2021 saw the addition of yet another honor to the resume of the great Kevin Durant a selection to the NBA's 75th anniversary team. I don't think he needed cementing of his legacy, but it's just one more feather in his cap. With some arc, and it's blocked by Irving. Don't tell me Kyrie Irving can't play defense. Send it back, Kai. From seven. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Even with all those accomplishments, Duran is just as hungry as ever, Doris. The B.A., to me, he's always just in a competition against himself. He simply wants to play the best basketball night after night. Here's a guy who takes tremendous pride in being complete and perfecting his craft. Harris has checked in for Duran. Hounded by Harris. Launches it. No luck on that one. And Brooklyn going the other way now. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first. The kick out to Simmons. Irving up top. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Gone 0 for 2 from outside. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. That's tipped. 17-foot shot on the way. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. O'Neal on the wing. Pass to Irving. Shoots from 12. Buries the jump shot. I think we all understand how dangerous Kyrie Irving is in the mid-range game. Delivers one there. 50 seconds left in the opening quarter. Simmons defending. Tries again. And the layup is good. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Pass to Harris. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now you think about it over time. Joe Harris has made himself a viable option as an NBA player. He's got such offensive versatility. And the Nets making a change here. Sharps checked in. And Harris drops them both. Shooting an unremarkable 30% on the first. Simmons defending. Three seconds left. And no good. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. And that's how far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Nets, what do you think, guys? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. The Nets with the lead. The three, here's Harris. The shot, no good. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. 
You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadala in Golden State, it really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. Right side to Ram. And again, it's the Nets missing. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. one drops he ties it up starting the second quarter about a minute gone Harris outside pass to Thomas from the baseline here's Sharp gets his second attempt to go now he's one for two that'll drive your coach crazy failing to box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Kevin Durant. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Nets? They've been pretty intimidating on the defensive end, knocking away shootings, containing shooters, and making it tough to find looks. Yeah, and I also love the intensity they've shown on the glass early on. Keeping plays alive, creating second-chance shots, that's nice. Harris outside. Pass to Sharp. Clock at six. Takes a 13-footer. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Plenty of space. The rebound by the Nets. Here's Thomas. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Harris. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I'll tell you, the fearlessness Joe Harris has shown has been a problem for the defense. Nice drive. First one falls for him. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Gotten only one of four shots to go in. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Six to shoot. Sharp grabs the miss. The Nets have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Here's Thomas. He got a piece of it. Guarded by Durant. Fires from the line. That shot missing. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Simmons, the pass to Durant. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Yeah, early in his career now, Kevin Durant could be knocked off his rhythm. But now he's put on that good weight over the years, making himself able to absorb that physicality. by Harris and he was fouled while in the act of shooting so he'll take two free throws hey if you can't block it sending him to the line can be the next best thing some changes for Brooklyn O'Neal comes in for Harris and Kyrie Irving is subbed in for Thomas pass to O'Neal here's Sharp the ball's knocked loose Oh, 
Simmons defending. Fires for three. Sharp grabs the miss. Sharp's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now Simmons. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Oh, and last summer, Ben Simmons had surgery on a herniated disc. I'm not a back expert. You know, I'm more of an ankle guy, but hard to be effective when that area is just not right. Claxton, he's checked in for Sharp. And last season, Ben Simmons caught some flack for not suiting up in the playoffs. Grant, you think his surgery quieted those voices a little? You know, I think it did a little bit. But, you know, at this point, it's going to come down to his performance on the court. He does have something to prove. It'll be interesting to see what he does. For Brooklyn, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. The kick out to Simmons. Back to O'Neal. Outside Durant. Takes the three. And they get it back to the middle. Pass to O'Neal. Left side Irving. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Guarded by Durant. Count it. His third and five attempts. And another look at the mobile one drive as he put it into overdrive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. There's 47 seconds left in the first half. Three-pointer. His sixth miss of the game. Just two for eight now. From 10 feet away. Got a hand on it. Left side, Simmons. Pass to Durant. They double-team Durant. Now here's Simmons. He's covered closely. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Well, it's amazing. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. Thirteen feet out. It's deflected. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Shooting only 23% so far. Ben Simmons is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Royce O'Neal. Then there's Kevin Durant. And it's Claxton in at the center position, locking down the middle. So that's the Nets five. He's guarded by Irving. Shoots from 14. A terrific job from Irving to track his man the entire way and bother that shot. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And he drops the first. And so he makes both from the line. Simmons defending. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Kyrie Irving. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. The Nets with the lead. Here's O'Neal. Pass to Durant. Right wing. Right side Simmons. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. O'Neal misses. From deep. Gets the three to fall. He's got five. 
Not everyone has the green light to take that three in transition, but he does, especially with the defense already set up protecting the paint. Here's O'Neal. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's foul number two for him. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Simmons defending. This for the tie! Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got his eighth rebound here tonight. On the wing, Durant. Here's the three. Yes! And that's Simmons with the assist. Simmons has got three assists in the game. You allow Kevin Durant space from three, he will make you pay. Guys, it seems to me that what's gotten lost in all the criticism of Ben Simmons shooting is the fact that this guy is still very special at the things he is very capable of doing. Simmons defending. Four on the clock. Shoots from 12. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. And Simmons has taken a ton of heat recently. He really has, B.A., but it seems to me he's ready to prove his doubters wrong. Maybe he uses all that criticism as motivation to finally improve his shooting because absolutely on the defensive end, this guy is a terror. And in transition, he puts a ton of pressure on you. Outside Durant. Knocks it loose. Inside. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. And the Nets call time here. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. Thomas, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Just over two and a half minutes going by in the second half. O'Neal on the wing. Pass to Simmons. And the layup is good off the glass. My goodness, defense was there, but Ben Simmons makes that finish look easy. Gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Another shot. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got nine rebounds now. Pass to Irving. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. Brooklyn making some changes. Sharp, he's checked in for Claxton. Edwards comes in for O'Neal. And it's Mills in for Ben Simmons. The Nets shooting just 35% from the floor. Shooting a rough 25% from the field in this game. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. It's tipped. It's stolen by Irving. Now here's Mills. Not a lot of room. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Kyrie Irving understands how to find an open teammate. Puts it exactly where it needs to be. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High-energy plays like that one could make a big difference. And they call an illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Harris has checked in for Brooklyn. Patty Mills is about winning, guys, and if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. A minute 39 left to play in the third quarter. And they recover it. Knocked away. And the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. Oh. 
A minute and a half left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Harris. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Boy, Joe Harris refusing to give an inch, and he is rewarded with a trip to the free throw line. Nicely done. So he comes up empty, missing both. Gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. He's guarded by Mills. Out to the right wing. Down to five on the shot clock. The teardrop. Count it. Good. Seven points in the game. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. 52 seconds left in the third. Deflected. Elbow shot on the way. Pounded by Harris. They get it again. Missed inside. The Nets have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Here's Edwards. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. They throw good, Edwards. And the Nets making a change here. And both free throws good for Edwards. 17 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. To the right side. With four on the clock. And he sinks the layup. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Nets leading by five. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one to the inside. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Outside Irving. The 11th footer. And the shot goes. What I love about Kyrie Irving is there's no fear on the interior. This guy is looking for ways to score. Rebounded by the Nets. Here's Claxton to the paint. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Here's O'Neal. On the wing, Durant. There's the triple. Hits the trifecta. Well, the ability to score without being the primary ball handler, right? Kevin Durant can catch and shoot as well as anybody in the league. The fader. And it's Irving with a rebound. For Brooklyn, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Pass to O'Neal. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And he banks in the layup. 
Brooklyn has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. On the wing, Duran. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here we go, one on one. Oh, and that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. Pass to Sumner. On the wing, Irving. And he's off from 17. Shooting only 31% in the game. He's guarded by Irving. The baseline, J. Oh, denied by Durant. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Kevin Durant. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Nets. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. Now here's Durant. Irving for three. And again, it's the Nets missing, shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. From 12 feet, tipped, and he gets it back. Fast break, Brooklyn. Pass to Simmons. There's the alley! Up high and down it goes on the lob. <laughs> oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. And <laughs> with the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. And <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message that the visiting team coach was giving to his team. He instructed his guys to buckle down, saying, quote, it's do or die time. Let's stay focused and finish like it's a playoff game. We'll see if they can pull it off. Back to you. Thank you for that, Allie. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. They're trying to come back in this game. Now, bottom line, it's about energy and effort, exemplified by a possession like that. A minute and a half left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. It's stolen away. Get the perimeter. He's guarded by Irving. And he jams it home with a thorny. Great work to clear some space around the rim and set himself up for that putback. Yes, sir. That was a huge follow. A minute nine left in the fourth quarter of this one. Steps back and fires. That went off the back iron and out. Gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Takes a three. And it's in. And now they trail by just four. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? Pass to O'Neal. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And they go to the intentional foul. He gets the first. And that puts him up five. Say what you want about Ben Simmons and sometimes the challenges he has on the offensive end. He is a hard-playing defensive force who has windows of opportunity where he contributes offensively. To the inside. And so they foul intentionally. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. 
and just not enough time for them to get back in this game. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. Rebounded by the Nets. They've led by as many as 11. Irving, the pass to Durant. So we see the Nets get the win here. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think...